Hello everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm reviewing the Cannondale Adventure Neo 4. I'm gonna walk you through my subjective experience of riding this electric bike and yeah, test all the efficiency of the motor, battery, comfort, maneuverability, braking system. So yeah. I hope you like this review and acknowledging Ivanhoe Cycles that provided the electric bike for review today. Now I'm gonna test the five modes of this uh, Cannondale Adventure Neo 4 Echo, Tour, Sports and Turbo on a very steep incline and using gear number 7 so uh, let's see its performance Right, so Echo mode pedaling really slow, smooth and definitely doing the work uh, getting harder and having to pedal a little bit more still on echo mode let's test the next one tour uh-huh i don't sense much of a difference between echo and the tour one actually sports sport sorry yep definitely much power a little bit more power and tour ball yeah, I can tell that the motor is doing a lot of work. It's a very steep incline for sure. I don't know the grade, but it's a harder one. If I were doing it on a standard bike, it would be really hard. There you go. Wait, really good. Now I'm going to full speed. And the motor caught in at 25 Ks which is what I am expecting to happen now let's test braking, braking system and comfort 40, 50 k's wait, the brakes doing nice that speed bump also felt really secure like I didn't feel the bike rattling or anything like that um, which is great I love that and the brakes were really responsive reducing the speed to a comfortable and safe one in terms of battery range I don't have a way to know how far can I get I can get with this battery uh, the 400 watts Bosch battery but based on the motor specs and the battery watts hour I would say it would be between 50 to 80 kilometers uh, range so my final impressions of the Cannondale Adventure Neo 4 just basically very content with this bike I was testing out the motor efficiency on a very steep incline and I was surprised how relatively easy any of the pedal assist levels used especially the turbo one uh, were tackling that hill it was very steep 
um, I haven't tried a bike before such an incline and this Bosch active line was doing a lot of work of course I had to pedal hard but still was doing a lot of the work that normally <laughs> I would have to do if I have to pedal hard in a standard bike uh, in terms of comfort it was super interesting to see how stable the bike was uh, when taking a speed bump around 35 k's an hour yes not, no rattling effect on the whole system and also comfortable saddle in general and grips i love talking about the grips i love all the handlebar configuration or design which you know that kind of wings bird wings shape or eagle i don't know how to call it but that's my impression you know it's so easy to handle to maneuver and to reach as well which is something i want comfort in that sense um the controller uh was very nice it's very simple just giving uh not many readouts just the basic ones pedal assist speed battery range and if you were to have a front light attached to this model then you can tell if it's on and off um yeah very simple but the most important part is the clarity to see the readouts while riding so i found it very good for a bright light bright day sorry um so yeah that's a good like a tick to this bike uh and braking system you might have seen in my video going downhill almost 50 k's an hour and the brakes were super solid getting me to almost fully stop i didn't want to test fully the whole system because i don't know what could happen but it's, it's unnecessary but um yeah it felt very responsive and uh easy to reach the levers of the brakes and yeah good as good good performance in that sense the one thing maybe that i would have liked to know more is about battery range i have no way as a user to know how much i could get but based on the numbers it'll be as in numbers the battery watts hour and the motor watts it'll be between 50 and 80 k's of course depends on the riding conditions and the pedal assist used so yeah that'll be my rough estimate and the last thing is the weight of the bike i didn't have a chance to actually test it so you would see it but uh based on other bikes that i have tested uh, i would say this one is around 24 kilograms which is not too heavy though it doesn't have any of the important attachments like front light rear light rear rack which are elements that are gonna slightly add to the weight of the bike not too much though of course so yeah as i always say these are my subjective uh, impressions of the this bike and if you are a big fan of the cannondale brand and if you like to test it out do it please do it go feel it for yourself see how you think the comfort motor power and uh, if you don't know where to go and test it out you could go to the bike shop where i source this bike or try to find out in your local store thanks for watching